Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to focus on reviewing some of the Overwatch animations to see how much detail they put into them. If you stop and smell the roses, you can take a second to watch some of Overwatch's amazing animations on its models, for the most part. If you watch closely, you see the amount of care and attention the animators placed on the tiniest of details. Things like Genji's shurikens reloading by revealing a hidden chamber in his arm, Orisa's gun shooting by pulsing each individual piston followed by replacing them when it overheats, Sigma's hyperspheres materializing out of thin air and separating like a dividing cell. They're all so mesmerizing. They even went as far as animating the sim portal as it appears on the ground, disappearing in a beautiful geometric flash of light, and the turrets as they attach themselves to a wall and automatically redirect themselves. You can watch as Bastion's entire body rotates and morphs into a tank, or as Hammond tucks his little robot legs into his mechanical ball. The animations in this game are so tiny and so fast that one can ask if they even needed to have occurred at all. With all that being said, what the heck is this? Did they run out of budget or something? At least give me a flash of light here. And here I thought they actually cared about taking the time to make their animations look good. Now before we go on, yes, I know, the world is ending, and there are worse things to be mad at, and this is literally the epitome of old man yells at Cloud by being upset at this animation. But I don't care, I'm going to complain about it anyway. Plus, I think this speaks to a bigger symptom of the devs not putting the care and time that they used to into the game, and instead are either only focusing on their monetization or rushing to put out half-finished assets into the game so people will buy their battle pass. I'll keep playing animations in the background so you can see how much detail went into so many of the characters in this game, but this Ramatra one is just sad. But anyway, I think this animation is the most embarrassing and lazy one out of all of them in the entire game. Specifically, him transforming back into Omnic form, but both are pretty bad. First, let's give them credit where credit is due. In all fairness, Ramatra's nemesis form is twice as large as his Omnic form, whereas the other forms for Bastion and Hammond are essentially the same size, so animating between their forms is easier. And if we were to really slow down and break down the Bastion animation, the treads sort of do come out of thin air, but it's so quick you don't even notice it. And the treads are not part of his base form, so they have to come out of somewhere. This also isn't the only thing that pops out of thin air, and there's a ton of examples for that, but in contrast, when Bastion moves into his artillery form, aka his ult, he literally kneels forward and reconfigures himself into the stationary cannon with his existing parts. He looks like a transformer as he morphs and his pieces move around into his new form. And for the Echo transformation animation that does change size, she has this blue digital sphere that covers up the transformation seamlessly and fits very well into her lore and character. So there is no logical or conceivable way that they can include Romacho's extra limbs into his base form without it looking clunky, or increasing his character model size, which is why the animation is so tough. And yes, I'm also aware that this transformation is so fast it's hardly noticeable, but really, anything is better than this, which is basically nothing. He literally jumps up and suddenly he's back in Omnic form. And if you slow it down, there's a frame where his staff is there, then disappears, and reappears, which is probably why this looks so weird. Even playing his Into Nemesis animation backwards is better than this. Look, even with my free software and nothing but a chimp brain, I was able to whip this up as a demonstration of what it could look like. And this looks way better already. Like, it's not that hard, Blizzard. You already have the animation there. At one point, they took the time to build up a tiny cylinder for 76's biotic field that spins and slowly sprays his healing energy, or BAP's healing grenades that actually run out in the chamber in both first and third person or Junker Queen's arm brands that continue to spin after she catches her knife. When are you ever going to notice that? Did anyone even know it was there? Probably not. But they took the time to animate it and then they gave us this half-baked Ramatra animation. I mean, they even animated this. This was a priority in their animation department, but a main transformation for a new character was not. But because we're already here, if they really wanted to give us a good animation, I wish they'd do something more like this Iron Man suit-up animation from Fortnite and make it look like nanobots are growing over Ramatra's legs and from his back to grow his other arms, but at this point that's just wishful thinking. Now I'm not saying Fortnite is the epitome of amazing transformation animations, looking at you Tom, but it really just shows the care Epic put into this one Iron Man animation, a skin that will never be on sale again, and only cost the price of the battle pass, versus a base animation for one of their brand new characters for their new game. It's just telling of a larger issue. Blizzard no longer cares about their game. This is not about the animation. This is about lazying out of the little things and the details of their new tank, and seemingly changing their focus from putting out a full game and instead of giving us whatever this is for. And what ever happened to these animations? They were literally announced as part of Overwatch 2, and they couldn't even do that. Where's the PvE? Where's the news on that? This is not just about the animation, but it's just the little things that show where their priorities are. And while we're here, some of the things they could kind of smooth out. Arissa's Fortify just flashes into gold, but it would be nice if the gold creeped over her body in one quick wave, instead of just turning gold. Then there's Cassidy that starts shooting his fan the hammer before his hand even gets to the gun. 
And for Reaper, in this clip I'm about to shadow step, but there isn't anything alerting the enemy team you're about to teleport. I mean, dude has been out for like 6 years and no one ever complained about it, but it's still weird. But whatever, no one at Blizzard will ever see this, so I'll just shut up now. Anyway, thanks for watching, feel free to tell me how annoying I am for complaining about this in the comments. I don't mind, just don't forget to subscribe on your way out.